What is going on YouTube? It is BR here. Going to bring you the LEGO news recap of the week, courtesy of the Brick Fan and Promo Bix. We're going to start off with this bombshell announcement that the LEGO Porsche 911 Turbo 911 Targa Owner's Pack gift with purchase is cancelled for North America. That's right, cancelled for North America. I'm trying to see why. Courtesy of Brick Fan, it just says the Owner's Pack above uh, some prints, Certificate of Awesomeness, blah, 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 blah. Everybody else gets it. VIPs February 16th, but... North America has been canceled due to shipping challenges. Shipping challenges. So they can ship the sets to North America, but they couldn't ship the gifts with purchases to North America. What kind of garbage is that? Whatever. That was the only reason I was tempted to possibly buy it. Because it had the cool little wallet and some cool little prints. But North America, they can't ship to North America. So that means Canada's getting screwed too. It's not just America, but Canada's getting screwed. So whatever. Good job, Lego. Good job. All right, so if you like keychains and you like the Friends show, you can go buy Lego Friends keychains. Not Friends like the minifigures, uh, or theme Friends like the show Friends. They're six bucks each. I didn't know they went up that high, but damn, that's expensive. So you're going to spend 36 bucks plus tax if you want to collect all six of these keychains. And the minifigures have, you know, holes drilled into the head. I remember the Batman keychain, I was able to, like, heat it up with a glue gun and pull the, the figure out, the Kiss Kiss Batman keychain. That was something you can do. So I, you can probably do this with these, but also these are these figs are made different on the inside. But anyway, six bucks each. That's absolutely insane. These will be on clearance at some point for like a dollar ninety nine, if not ninety nine cents, at on Lego. Don't buy them at six bucks unless you really like keychains, I guess. Lego wins four Toy of the Year 2021 awards. The Toy Association 2021 Toy of the Year awards have been announced today. Lego. Blah, 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 blah. Lego won Construction Toy of the Year for the Razor Crest. Playset of the Year for Lego Super Mario Bowser's Castle Expansion Set. Specialty Toy of the Year for the Grand Pianos. And Collectible Toy of the Year for Lego Super Mario Character Packs. Now, this, these right here, these bad boys winning Toy of the Year does absolutely nothing for me. I probably still won't go buy three-fourths of these. I might get the Razor Crest at some point, but that's about it. All right, some new Lego storage box boxes. Coming to from the, the room, Copenhagen. So, so some new trans clear black, little tinted black right there, storage boxes. I actually kind of like the way they look. I, I don't know the size of them because I can't measure stuff for crap. 14 by 11 by 9, I guess that's bigger than a shoebox, but I, I don't know. 19 liters, I have no idea how many that is. Um, I know a liter of cola is what Farva is still looking for. Anyway... This is from The Room in Copenhagen, and don't worry, I've done some investigative research, top-notch journalism here for you guys. If you're in the USA, you can buy them on Amazon. In Europe, you can buy them on Amazon.co.uk. In Asia, you can buy them in JD.com and Tmall.com, and that's right from RoomCopenhagen.com slash where to buy. All right, now it's time for some Lego ideas, winners that probably won't get made. Halloween Town by TV Rules My Life is the latest project to achieve 10,000 supporters over on Lego Ideas. The build is based on a little scene from the iconic movie that is complete with Jack's house in the middle. The spiral hill on the hill on the left side and the fountain on the right side also proposes six minifigures of Jack, Sally, Dr. Finkelstein, Lock, Shock, and Barrel, and a skeleton. I've seen this movie pff, a while ago. I don't remember much about it, to be 100% honest with you guys, but it looks pretty cool. I like spooky stuff. I think this would be a great set to be released around Halloween time. That being said, if they did pick it, it would probably be released in the middle of the summer because they don't line up their stuff at all. But yeah, probably won't get picked, but maybe it will. Who knows? Next. All right, Lego Star Wars Yoda's Galaxy Atlas, available for pre-order over on Amazon. You get this exclusive Yoda minifigure, guys. It's exclusive. The book is actually 16 bucks. You can pre-order over on Amazon. And the Yoda actually doesn't look that bad. I still probably won't get it, but I'm not going to pay 16 bucks for just a minifigure. I have no idea what the book is about. You can travel to Tatooine, Endor, Hoth, Dagobah, and more. And what would be a news week without more LEGO ideas so that won't get made? Here we have the King's Castle by Brickhammer. Chief 10,000 supporters, castle is based on a typical historical castle design that is fortified on a hill. Proposes six minifigures and a horse. It's a pretty beefy looking castle set, so you know it won't get picked. Or if it does get picked, it's going to get the chopping axe of the blacksmith shop. You see that? Castle, axe, chopping. More of a lumberjack thing, I guess. But anyway, it's a cool mock. I really like it. I wish LEGO would kind of release a whole theme based off stuff like this. You know, this size stuff. It looks bigger than the blacksmith shop. Or a smaller scale than the blacksmith shop. I remember the winning blacksmith design looked huge. This looks a little, uh, a little small. I don't know. Anyway, it won't get picked. Why do we even bother? Oh man, another LEGO idea set. I thought LEGO was like redesigning their ideas so there's not, you know, a 
rabbit litter of winners every time. Anyway, the sewing shop achieved 10,000 supporters over on Lego Ideas. And this probably won't get picked as well, but it's a pretty cool looking module, actually. I can appreciate the 16 by 16 looking build in the middle of a 32 by 32 base plate with the angle. That looks really cool. The interior details are, again, interior details, so I naturally don't care for them, but they do look cool. The tile work on the outside of the shop is pretty cool. I like it. I do like it. I don't think it'll get picked. If it does, why would they, like, how can they change it? I don't know. This could be a modular. Watch, like, in three modulars from now, we're going to have a sewing shop modular. Just you wait. They won't get picked, but, like, three modulars, sewing shop modular. All right, if you're an artist, you can win some cash here. Some cold, hard cash. Lego World Builder Women of History Banner Project. For those who are artists, Lego World Builder is looking for people who can create some banner art depicting some of the most extraordinary women of all time as Lego minifigures for their image library. Three designers, at minimum, will be greenlit, and upon submitting the winner's affidavit and the IP assignment, will each receive $250 as compensation. You can read the full list of rules in the link above, or you can go to the link below. Go to the brick fan, you go find this image, or this article, click on the link, and go get it. Go get your money, artists. Do it. All right, this is the fourth project this week, so really, another one. Another one goes. That's not going to get picked, probably. This is the fourth bridge by Michael Deneen 7 it achieved 10,000 supporters, and it's based on Scotland's greatest man-made wonder that was made in 2016. It looks like a bridge. I don't think it'll get picked. That's all I gotta say. All right, so I don't know anything about what Unity is, but Lego X Unity Game Jam announced. So apparently, Lego is doing a contest where you can learn more about building your own Lego micro game using Unity as in a live stream called Game Jam Ideas Edition. Go over to Brickfan, check it out, get some more details on it. At first, I saw this minifigure and I saw the head on like the side. I thought it was like a severed head. I was like, dude, what is going on with this unity? He's got severing heads everywhere. All right, and last up, we got speed champions rumors. So I guess there was some worry there weren't going to be any speed champions this year, but now we might be getting some more speed champions. So the rumors are, I'm going to butcher these names, or mainly the first name. The Koenisei Jeg Jesko, don't kill me. Toyota GR Supra, the McLaren Elva, the Chevy Corvette C8R, and the 1968 Chevy Corvette C3. A Mopar Dodge, SRT Top Fuel Dragster, 1970 Dodge Challenger, and then question marks. Based on the pricing of these sets, I'm guessing they are 8 wide. Again, I don't have any of the 8 wide sets, but seeing one car for 20 bucks, I'm pretty sure it's 8 wide. I like the 6 wide. They look pretty good in the city. And Lego, who, you know, switched to the new road base plates, which are the greatest thing since sliced bread according to them. I don't know how the 8 wide vehicles really work on there. I don't have them. I probably won't ever get them, but anyway... Let me know your thoughts down below. Let's talk about it. And be sure to check out the links for all the news of the week. I did skip over some articles just for the sake of time. So thank you for watching. As always, bye now.